Remember Brother Youngblood? We pray for, pray for complete healing in this leg. He is able to put some weight on it. So that's something to be thankful for. We thank God for that. Hallelujah, Jesus. We thank you, Lord. We worship you, God. Thank you for that healing, God. Just continue work in that situation. Remember, Sister Lana Davies, there's a lot of pain in her leg, and she is having trouble walking. So continue to pray for that. Pray for healing for Brian Gully. And also Brother Will Estimer as well. Um, he, is in, he is in rehab. He did have a mild stroke. Um, so continue to pray for him as well. And, of course, all those battling with sickness and this COVID silliness and any other affliction that people may be dealing with. Just continue to pray for those people and pray for a healing there. Also emotional healing. That's a big, big thing right now. It is a big thing. Um, we're talking about the spirit of heaviness. I did put a post on Facebook a while back and just felt a weight of heaviness. And I said, if you're wanting to take off heaviness, you have to be willing to put on praise. Praise is what takes you out of that heaviness. And there's a lot of that heaviness going around. Heaviness that doesn't need to be there and heaviness that people just deal with on a day-to-day -day basis. But we are here to stand in the middle of that and to be a light in, that, in those situations. And also prodigals for lost loved ones, for sons, daughters, mothers, fathers. We don't have a lot of time left. I've got people in my family. You have people in yours. But we're still here for a reason. We're still here to reach those people. And also, unity. There's so much division right now. And that ties in with heaviness. That ties in with emotional pain. It ties in with isolation. It ties into all that stuff without unity. There's... There's no peace. There's no hope. There's, there's nothing to hold on to. But we have unity in this place. We have unity to show that there still can be unity in this community. So continue to pray for unity as well. And then a harvest of souls. God, send us people that are hungry. People that are lost people that need something, that knows that there's something out there, but they don't know where it's at. That's what we're here for, church. That's our goal. That's our purpose. That's our calling. Every one of us is called to reach. Every one of us is, one of us is called to be a witness to somebody. No matter what your status is, you are called for that purpose. And so for a harvest of souls, I wonder if we could just begin to pray for those. I know I ran through them kind of fast, but begin just to worship me and to praise. Lift those up. God, right now, Lord, you see every need that's been spoken in this place. Every need that hasn't been spoken, you know. Every unspoken need, God. Lord, we pray for healing, God. We pray for those that are hurting, God. Lord, for you to do a work, for you to do a work that only you can do, God. Oh, we claim it and we believe it in your name, Jesus. Lord, for every stripe that you took, for every nail that you took, you took it for us and you took it for everyone else, God. And we thank you for that. Lord, that your will be done in every situation. Lord, we praise you. We thank you. We lift you up. Lord, we thank you for what you're going to do, what you're going to do. We praise you in advance, God. Lord, because we believe that you are able. You are able to do exceedingly and abundantly above all that we can ever ask or think. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, and seal that with the praise. Seal that with the praise like you've seen it happen. Like you believe that it's going to happen because it's going to happen. God's going to do a work if you believe, if you trust, and if you place your faith in him. God is going to do it. God is able to do it. In the name of Jesus.
Yes, Lord, we believe it, God. We thank you for it. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. And one last thing. I wonder if all the kids who have started school or are about to start school, if they could all come up here right now. And behind them, if the parents of the church would follow. They are about to enter into something that they have never entered in before. And we've said that before, but this is something completely different. This is a completely different elevation. We can't even begin to fathom what they're going to experience. But they have a hope. They have a light. Pray for protection around them. Pray for peace around them. Pray that they would be a light. A light that shines brighter than it has before. Something that when they walk into that building, every demon that's in that place completely dissipates. Completely, sh it's completely disintegrated. Because once they walk into that threshold, everything that possibly could could come against them. But they gonna walk across that threshold, and immediately, that's gonna be gone. There's gonna be no fear. There's gonna be no doubt. There's gonna be no isolation. Nothing is gonna come against these kids. We begin to get, begin to pray those things around him and whatever else you feel to pray. In the name of Jesus. Let there be prayer meetings in classrooms. Let the Holy Ghost break out in classrooms that nothing can stop it. Nothing can silence it. Let there be Bible studies that are overflowing with students. The kids calling out to ours, help me, give me something that I need to hold on to. Let there be swarms of kids that come into this church. there's anyone else that needs prayer today if you want to come up here the, the musicians and the singers would come keep in this vein don't let it go stay in this vein in the name of jesus in the name of jesus hallelujah hallelujah, hallelujah jesus thank you lord thank you lord thank you lord.
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus.
anointing. Lord, we feel your sweet anointing. Oh, the brush of angels weaves in this place. You are here, God. You are here to hold us. Just to give us your love, God. Every burden, nothing too small. Nothing too big. You care about it all. We thank you, Lord. There is a sweet, oh, sweet anointing. The sweet presence of the Holy Ghost. Saturate us, Lord. Oh, the sweet aroma of your glory.
the earth will shout your praise. Our hearts will cry, these bones will sing. tells us to praise him with the timbrel and the dance. It says everything that have breath they're praising the Lord. I see a lot of breath in the house today. He woke me up this morning. I have a right to praise him. Lord, I have a right to praise you today. Hallelujah. God, you filled me with the Holy Ghost. God, you took me from where I was at to where I am today. Why shouldn't I praise you? Hallelujah. I better hush up before I get excited. Tell you what, the Holy Ghost I have, it makes you excited. I was a drunkard. I was a gopi, but God said, hey, I've got something better than that for you. Hallelujah. I look on the street corners today. There's people that's addicted. That's really wanting somebody to tell them Jesus loves them. Jesus, hallelujah. You already probably figured out I'm a weirdo. But I'll tell you what, I was a weirdo when I was in the world. 
I didn't go to a football game or a basketball game if I was not the one in the house that everybody knew there's something wrong with that guy. I tell you what, you may think there's something wrong today, but I tell you, I got a testimony to say, hey, look what the Lord has done. church. I didn't come put my name on the road. I tell you what, I didn't come to check the block, but I come that praise God. I shouldn't have done this. Come on, Brother Fallbush. Come on, bring the offering plates. The pastor wants to preach today. Okay, we need our dominion prayer up on the screen. Everybody hold that offering high. Brother Faulkner, how many believe that $3 million is going to come in this week? I don't know why I'm saying that, but you know what? We gotta speak it. When we speak it and believe it, anything can happen. I got up in a little old country church on a Sunday night. Brother Maroney will tell you this. I said, I don't need Brother Maroney for 16 years. We took up $40,000 in 10 minutes. $40,000 in 10 minutes. And the crowd wasn't even half this size. Don't tell me that God cannot move. Don't tell me that God will make a way when there seems like there's no way. I came up in a household where 12 kids was. We lived from paycheck to paycheck. My dad was a farmer. We didn't have gas to put in the car. We'd get down and dad would stick the key in the car. He says, God will provide. He turned the key over in the old car. Go, put, 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 put. All of a sudden, we started toward the church. That old car began to run like a brand new one. Before church was over, somebody would come up and say, Brother Wells, I need to give you that. And put gas in our car. Don't tell me what God can do. My wife's standing in the congregation today. Five months ago, they found seven nodules on her lungs. Seven nodules. That's one of the reasons why we're back where we're at today. She said, I want to go home, be my grandkids, and spend the last few years or whatever with my kids. She went three, two weeks ago. They checked that the nodules there, but they said, no sign of cancer. Don't you tell me that God is not a healer. Don't you tell me that God can move a mountain. Don't you tell me that we don't serve the same God as Abraham, Jacob, and Isaac. Well, I told you I'm crazy. I'm a fanatic. Oh, I feel something in this house. Somebody's here today that the devil has beat you up. He has wounded you. He has crippled you. I'm telling you today is a day for your breakthrough. 
Today is your day for you to get up from where you're at and say, God, today I'm not leaving here the way that I came. Jesus, 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 hold that offering high. Brother Faulkner, keep checking the mailbox. Keep checking your bank account. Three million dollars is nothing to God. All it is in humanity's eyes is a lot of zeros. But to God, it's nothing. I want to see this church debt free. I tell you what, I appreciate, appreciate everybody accepting us here. After today, you might say, well, I'm going to get rid of you. Now, every place you go, Brother Faulkner, you feel welcome. No. They'll say they're apostolic and they love you. But not everybody says they're apostolic, it's apostolic. Okay. We're ready. Upon the authority and by the orders of your word, I have given, it shall be given to me, pressed down, shaken together, running over. I am a tither. I bring my tithes today into your storehouse. Therefore, the enemy is rebuked. That curse is broken. I live under an open heaven. You pour out upon me such a blessing that there is not enough room to receive it. We will receive jobs and better jobs, raises and bonuses, sales and commissions, benefits and settlements, estates and of inheritance, interest and income, rebates and returns, checks in the mail, checks in the mail, gifts and surprises, bills paid off, debts dismissed and royalties received. My whole family will be saved and walking with God. My family will have a perfect health, abundance, and will walk in the divine favor and the blessings. I shall be blessed going in. I shall be blessed going out. And that all I do will prosper in Jesus' name. And amen. And in his soul, that might say, in Jesus' name. to praise and worship all our shame. There's a deliverance, deliverance from Jesus' name. There's a deliverance, healing in His name, victory, power in the same Sing 
We prayed for it. It shouldn't be surprising that God is pouring out his spirit right now. Woo! There is a wave of miracle power sweeping across this building right now. If you are addicted to something, if you are battling something, God can set you free. Yeah. Oh, in the name of Jesus, that name has all power. That name has all authority. That name has all dominion. When you shout and speak the name Jesus, something will happen.
That's it. Let there be a roar heard in this congregation. The spirit of intercession and travail is upon us right now. Oh, folks, wherever you're at, you can receive deliverance right now. Wherever you're at, lift your hands. In the name of the Lord, I pray. In the name of the Lord, I pray right now. Right now, Lord Jesus. Right now, Lord Jesus. Right now, Lord Jesus. In your name, I pray, God. In your name, I pray, God. In your name, I pray, God. There's victory that's here. There's victory that's here. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Oh, in your name. Hadabaya la bashataya. Ilabara la la mokondo yolo mahashataya la bahashataya. Then, Jesus, 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 Jesus. Up. In the name of the Lord Jesus, out. 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 Okay, we're just we're just gonna go ahead and do it. All right. The. The waters of healing and the waters of the working of miracles are troubled right now. We're going to start it. Listen. I want y'all to listen. I want y'all to listen. Sister Forbush went to the doctor on Friday. She was diagnosed with uh, molecular degeneration in her eyes. We all know those of us that have dealt with that before heard about it. It is not good. God's going to perform a miracle in her body right now. If you got faith... And I'm talking crazy faith to where it's going to lift off of her right now. She's got another appointment this next week. And we are going to pray that it is going to lift off of her. I'm talking, folks, that whew, if you're here today and you need anything, God's going to do it. It's going to begin with Sister Forbush. Would you stretch your hands towards her? You ladies that are there right now, would you begin to lift your voice? Would you curse that mole me molecular degeneration? If I got the word, God knows what it is. Curse it right now and release the miracle and the healing power of the Holy Ghost over her right now. In Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus. Receive your miracle. I pray for every nerve to be restored. I pray right now for every emotion to be for it to be restored right now. Woo! Let it flow right now. Somebody just release your faith one more time. There's a, there's a wave of it. It's literally being dumped out all across this sanctuary right now. In the name of the Lord, in the name of the Lord, in the name of the Lord. Yebo koto ya raba hashataya. 
God's doing it right now. It's lifting off of her. An angel just came. Put both hands over her eyes. It's lifting off of her right now. Somebody just lift your voice and cry out right now. Oh! Alamaya lo bosh ataya. Ela mo kanale lia no bosh ataya. Hi ala la la bo ya lo lo bosh ataya la la ba kataya. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. There's still a flow. There's still a flow. You men, I want you to gather around Bishop right now. That's it. The Lord's doing it. The Lord's doing it. I want you to gather around Brother Forbush right now. We are believing for this man and this woman of God that God is going to perform a miracle right now. In every listen, there's not going to be one area that's going to be left untouched by the time God is finished in just a few moments. You men, gather around Bishop right now. There's a restoration coming to his eyes. That's it. That's it, Brother Gibson. That's it, Brother Conkle. That's it. Speak the word of faith. Speak the word of faith in Jesus' name. That's it, Brother Tuttle. God, I pray for Rick right now. God, I pray for Rick right now. In the name of Jesus. That's it, lift your voice. That's it, lift your voice and claim it right now. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Yera barra konto yara raba hashataya. I thank you for doing it, Master. I thank you for doing it, Master. In the name of the Lord, I pray. In the name of the Lord, I pray. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Sister Lana, we are so, I prayed for you this morning that you would be here. You're able, honey, would you come and would you sit on this chair right here? This lady last week couldn't hardly walk. She's still having trouble with it right now. Thank you, Brother Hodge. Go ahead. She can sit on that chair right there. Sister Tuttle, I consider you a mother of Israel. I want you to gather around her. You other ladies, would you come and would you gather around Sister Lana? She needs a touch in her legs. She needs a touch physically in her body right now. And I believe the, the Lord is here. I'm not talking a healing. I'm talking a miracle. There's going to be a tangible miracle that God is going to give Sister Davies. Her knees are going to be 25-year-old knees. 
They're not going to be. They're not going to be uh, seasoned. They're not going to be damaged anymore by the power of the Word of God and the authority that is in the name of Jesus. I release the miracle over Sister Davies right now. Yes, you ladies, that's it. Speak the word of faith and proclaim it right now. Declare the miracle over her body physically, over her mind. I bind the spirit of torment in the name of Jesus. I curse you right now. Let it flow right now. Let it begin to move and let it begin to minister right now. That's it. There's miracle power flowing In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Oh, my God, folks, there's something happening at this altar. There's something happening right now. In the, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. In your name I pray, Lord. In your name I pray, Lord. In your name I pray, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's it. Let the miracle, let the miracle begin to take place right now. Sister Ann, if you'd come up here. Sister Ann, if you'd come up here. She's been having some respiratory problems. <clears throat> A seat there. Folks, the Lord, the Lord just just dispatched angels. They're in, they're in this room. Of course, as soon as He says that they're here, but they're they're angels of wholeness. W h o l e n e s s. They're angels of wholeness that are in this room. God has done it for Sister Forbush. God's done it for Brother Forbush. He's doing it for Sister Davies right now. Sister Ann has been having some respiratory problems. Been having some some problems uh, breathing and things like that, and and I'm purposely I'm purposely letting people pray for people right now because you need to understand and you need to know the same power that raised Jesus from the dead is inside of you. When you repent of your sins, you're baptized in Jesus' name, and you're filled with the gift of the Holy Ghost, that same power lives inside of you. Acts chapter 1 and verse 8, the words of Jesus, not the words of Confucius, Buddha, Muhammad, the words of Jesus. Ye shall receive power after the Holy Ghost has come upon you, and you'll be witnesses of me. God's going to touch Sister Caldwell right now. I want some of you ladies as well. Y'all can still pray with, with uh, Sister Davies and them, but Sister Caldwell, I want you to begin, to begin to speak this over her. Whatever the issue is in her respiratory system, God's revealing it to some of you right now. The word of knowledge and the word of wisdom is becoming available to you. Go ahead and speak that over her. We curse the shortness of breath. We curse any kind of breathing problems right now. In the name of Jesus, Yaraba Shato Yoroba Rakanda Raba Hashataya. Your name I pray, Lord, in your name I pray, Lord, in your name I pray, Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. God's doing it, God's doing it. Brother Hodge has had sciatic pain in his foot and his leg for the last four days. He just came up and said it just left him. It's totally gone. That's a miracle, folks. That's a tangible miracle. Somebody ought to give God praise for it. Hallelujah. 
God, I thank you for it. God, I worship you for it. Oh, let your hand rest right now, God. Let your hand rest right now, God. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. In the name of the Lord, we bless you for it. God, we thank you for it. God, we worship you for it. Hallelujah. God, I praise you and I worship you, Savior. In the name of the Lord, I pray. In the name of the Lord, I pray. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Oh, I worship you, Master. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. In your name. Thus saith the Lord. Let us raise our hands and receive what the Lord has just said. Ha ha ha. Oh, Jesus, 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 Jesus. 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 Oh. La 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 Thank you, Jesus. 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 As I've, as I've said, and I, I, I promise you today, I promise you today, God, you've heard me say this before, but God will never do anything to embarrass anybody. Okay, and this is nothing that is being done today is to point anything out, to shine the light on anything other than the fact that God still performs miracles and he still heals bodies. Amen. Sister, Sister Conkle, Brother Conkle, if you, if you could, could bring her up here. <clears throat> like I've said, nothing, nothing is being done right now to embarrass anybody. I want everybody to understand that. Folks, there is such a power and a presence of the angelic host in this place right now. There are literally thousands of angels that are here. Now listen, God not only created the body physically... He created it emotionally. He created it mentally as well. The nervous system is completely and totally something that was developed by him. All right? And this, this precious, precious woman of God 
and her wonderful, wonderful husband are people that we love very, very, very much. And he would not have me to say this, and I don't say this to embarrass him, but this man right here gives and sacrifices so very much. He's a witness to me. He's an example to me. She's an example to me. They're always here. They're always faithful. But right now, Sister Haynes just came to me just a moment ago and said when she came up down off the platform, there was, there was a, a, an, an angel here that was literally working inside of somebody's body, and they were re replacing every single molecule. All right? And that's, that's not just for one person. But for Sister Conkel, right now, God is going to perform a supernatural miracle. If anybody has that faith we just talked about, could you begin to lift to your voice by the power of the Word of God and the authority of the name of Jesus? I pray for every cell, and I pray right now for every single member of the nervous system to be restored completely. You know exactly what you need to do, Master. You know exactly what needs to take place. I pray for the focus in her mind. I pray for the clarity in her mind right now. The angel is being released and is beginning to operate and is beginning to perform the procedure right now. It is happening, Lord Jesus. The miracle power of the Holy Ghost. I pray for there to be an understanding and a complete and total deliverance from every ounce of question, every ounce of torment. In the name of Jesus, do it right now. Restore it, I pray. Lord Jesus, let it happen right now. In the name of Jesus, I pray there would be rest. I pray there would be refreshing. I pray there would be strength. I pray there would be encouragement in Jesus' name. We thank you for doing it right now, God. Open the understanding. I pray for your hand to transform, God, every single thing in the mind, in the name of Jesus, I pray. We pray for, yes. Yes. specifically for the frontal lobe portion of our brain. Yes. That's where this diagnosis resides. Yes. The frontal lobe brain frontal cells. Lobe right now, God. It has not responded. So, but until now. And awaken it, Lord In the Jesus. name of Jesus, In awaken the, Jesus. the ability, By the, power of the full Lord, functionality Lord, of this brain, God. Awaken the frontal lobe. She is, she is innocent, Lord God, of, yes. of this. And we rebuke it. We rebuke it. By the authority of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. Be frontal lobe. Be fed a little portion, God. Be brain cells. Have half. They got the function, Lord God. Yes. In the name. Yes. That is above every name. Yes. In my Jesus. Yata Alaparipa. Yes. By the authority. Lord Jesus. You are the healer. You are the restorer. In the name. In the name of Jesus, let it be so. Let it be so. We give you thanks in advance right now. Lord, we're going to see progress. Yes. We're going to see results. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Oh, we thank you for awakening the frontal lobe right now. We thank you for doing it right now. Yes. We're going to see, we want to see the nurses and the doctors yes. in total amazement yes. at the miraculous power of the Lord Jesus Christ that we serve. We are going to see that. Yes. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Oh. 
I thank you for it. I praise you for it right now. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Oh, my God. <laughs> yes. Yes. We thank you for doing it right now, God. We thank you for doing it right now, God. Hallelujah. Oh, we praise you, Lord, and we thank you, Savior. We praise you, Lord, and we thank you, Savior. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. In the name of the Lord, in the name of the Lord, in the name of the Lord. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Go ahead and raise your hands. That's a sign of surrender. The Lord sees and he knows every hurt and every pain. But there is, there is no type of bondage or no type of addiction that can ever compare to the freedom and the liberty that we have with Jesus. And there's a desire that, that, that Shelly has to be set free from that. Otherwise, she wouldn't be here right now. Right now, I speak and I curse against every single demon of addiction. Against every single demon of isolation and depression. I speak against you right now and I call you out. I curse you and I command you to go back to where you have come from. You have no power and you have no authority and you know you have no dominion that is here. If you're here today and you have a child, I want you to gather your child and I want you to begin to pray over your child right now. I want you to plead the blood over your child right now. By the power of the word of God and the authority that is in the name of Jesus, I speak liberty and I speak freedom right now against every one of those spirits and every one of those demons. You must loose your hold right now. Let there be liberty and let there be freedom in the name of the Lord Jesus. I pray that she would speak it with her own mouth. God, let her hear, let her see, and let her understand the fruit of her lips. In the name of Jesus, I pray right now. In the name of Jesus. By the power of the word of God and the authority of the name of Jesus, receive ye the gift of the Holy Ghost in Jesus' name. Loose your tongue right now and let it flow through you. Loose your tongue and let it flow through you in Jesus' name. That's it. That's it. Come on. That's it, Shelly. Let the Holy Ghost flow through you. That's it. That's it. Let all the hell hear you talk in tongues right now. Let all the heaven hear you talk in tongues right now. In the name of the Lord, I pray. God, I thank you and I praise you. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Come on, I want us to begin to rejoice. All across this sanctuary, I want us to begin to thank the Lord. I want us to begin to worship the Lord right now. That's the atmosphere that he has given to us. Salvation and deliverance. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. God, we speak it right now. In the name of Jesus. 
Somebody thank the Lord specifically for deliverance right now. Somebody thank the Lord for deliverance and liberty. He has power to set the captive free. He has power to loose you from anything that would bind you or hold you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of the Lord, I praise you, Jesus, and I worship you, Savior. In your name, I pray, Lord. In your name, I pray, Lord. In your name, I pray, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I want... I, I want us, I want us, I want us to, hold, hold on just a minute, hold on just a minute. I, I want us to pray for something right now as well. This past week, I, I talked to one of our ministers in Oregon State, and um, the, uh, with Oregon, Washington, and California, with what's going on, he told me that it looked like that today would be the first Sunday that they would be able to hold service since March the 8th. I want you to listen to that, folks. We've been blessed. May the 10th was our first time back here. But he, he told me, I, I talked to him, and I said, well, honestly, I said, you're there. I said, what is it? He said, there is an attempt of a blanket of oppression that the enemy is trying to put over the church right now. Um, in California, there's, you read the headlines, it, it'll make you sick to your stomach, everything that's happening and everything that's going on right now. But these are our brothers and our sisters, all right? They're, there's so much that is against them right now, and it's, uh, it's, it's liberal, it's a spirit of Jezebel, spirit of Leviathan, there's a whole bunch of, of stuff that's going on, but I, I have felt my wife come up to me just a moment ago, and I want us to have a very targeted prayer right now for our brothers and our sisters, all up along basically that Pacific coast, so let's just pray for California, let's pray for Oregon, and let's pray for, pray for Washington. I believe that the Lord is going to release something and break something in the spirit. I know there are others that are doing this. They're organizing right now a rally in Sacramento, the state capital of California, for next weekend to where they're going to go and they're going to meet at the state capital and they're going to have prayer, they're going to have worship um, against this force. It makes zero sense, folks, zero sense that people can riot, they can loot, they can get together and protest. But when people talk about getting together and, and, and worshiping God, just like we're blessed to be able to do right here, there's, there's opposition against that. OK, they can get together. They can burn Bibles. OK, if someone defiantly burning a Bible does not do something to your spiritual gauge. It needs to. It needs to. All right. Now, I'm not I'm, I know we're live streaming right now. They're not burning Korans. They're not burning the Book of Mormon. I feel it coming on me. I feel it coming on me right now. Yep. And, and the mosques, that's exactly right. The mosques are open. The mosques are open. The, listen, it's, it's specifically against the church. All right. One of our, uh, one of our ministers who I believe fulfills the office of a prophet, he's from Arkansas. He saw his doctor this past week and his doctor, he was just that for one of those, um, uh, uh, virtual, a virtual checkup. So he was talking to his doctor through zoom and stuff like that. And he told him, he said, now he said, just Keep wearing your mask and, and everything like that. He said, don't get around big crowds. Listen, like church. He didn't call anything else out. I, I, I saw it. He, he, said, he said he didn't call anything else out other than church. Okay? I want us right now. Could you close your eyes and could you lift your hands? We're going to pray. Folks, we are blessed to live in this, in this area that we live in right now. I'm thankful to be able to gather together with you. Amen. But our brothers and our sisters in these states, they need help. They need prayer support. Master, right now, we pray that angels would go to California. We pray they would go to Oregon. We pray they would go to Washington. And I pray right now that the spirit of truth would begin to minister to them. God, I pray right now that they would feel the effects of our prayers. And God, let the opposition turn. Let the oppression turn by the power of the word of God and the authority that is in the name of Jesus. We speak it done right now. We loose it in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Oh, my God, send angels of help. Send angels of war. Send messenger angels to strengthen them and encourage them. In Jesus' name we pray. And my God, every force that would rise against you, I pray God, as David said in Psalm 68, let God arise and let his enemies be scattered. I speak that right now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. 
I thank you for it right now. In your name, I pray, Lord. In your name, I pray, Lord. Oh, whoo. We thank you for doing it, Master. We thank you for doing it, Master. In your name, we pray, Jesus. In your name, we pray, Jesus. In your name, we pray, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. How many, how many believe and feel that everybody in this community needs to feel what we're feeling right now? How many believe God wants to use you to make that happen? Does anybody believe God wants to use you to make that happen? There is a, there's a, a spirit of commissioning that just came into this room. There are people that have, have been um, discouraged because of, of outreach and evangelism efforts that you've tried individually. And you haven't, you haven't broadcast them. You haven't told anybody about them. You just maybe made, made mention to somebody, hey, I'll, I'll pray for you, or hey, um, you know, would you like to come with, to church with me sometime? And like I said, you, didn't, you haven't broadcast it. You haven't put it on social media. You haven't, you haven't even told other people. Some of you haven't even told your spouse about it. And there's been a discouragement that's come over you because of that. God has sent a spirit of commissioning that is in this room right now. And he wants to baptize people with it. All across this building, there are people that are watching this right now. Folks, there is such a heavy anointing in this house. There are people just a moment ago, I looked out, and it looked literally like it was so thick and so sappy on you. It was coming off your arms. It was coming off your legs. It was, it was coming off of your clothes because of where you have allowed God to take you today. That spirit is here to commission you to be able to have an aggression and a boldness to be able to go. You're not going to be afraid of rejection anymore because part of that discouragement has borne a fear of rejection inside of you. Well, what if I say something again? What if they say no? Well, who cares if they say no? What's the worst thing that will happen? Somebody says no. People ask me that all the time. They're like, well, you enjoy speaking the word of faith and you do this and you do that. What do you do if somebody's not healed? It's not my job to heal people. It's not my job to perform a miracle in somebody's body. I, I have zero power to do that. You have zero power to do that. But I know a doctor named Jesus of Nazareth that if he chooses, he can do it. So across, across this building, if, if you have a desire and you have a hunger, and some of you even this past week have felt a burden for it, have felt a burden for it. I was talking to Brother O'Banion uh, the other week, and he told me, he said, I, I woke up one morning, he said, I just, there was something that just got a hold of me that said, I've got to find somebody to talk to today about Jesus. There's that, that hunger that we have and that burden that we have. Some of you this past week have felt that. It's affected you. You've, you haven't felt depressed or oppressed. You've just felt different. You've, there's just been this, this odd feeling that you've had. That's God developing a burden inside of you for lost, hungry souls. The miracles are here. The healing is here. Deliverance is here. But I'm here to tell you something. God wants to commission us today. If you have a desire for that, if you felt that, would you stand to your feet wherever you are at in this, in this building? There might be some watching this online right now. You've maybe felt the same thing. God is, God is going to do it. Six people this week I reached out to, and I had somewhat definitive answers back that, yeah, I'm going to be here. None of them are here today. I'm not discouraged. I'm more aggressive now than I will. With that. I'm, I'll be more aggressive this week than I was last week. And God is going to place that upon you. God is going to baptize you with that. Would you lift your hands up in the air? Would you put your head back right now? The spirit of commissioning, that's what the Lord gave us. The great commission, it was to go. It was not to stay and wait for somebody else to come to me. It was for me to go. Master, right now, by the power of the word of God and the authority that is in the name of Jesus. I pray that that angel would begin to open the veil, the vial that he is holding right now and would begin to pour out the spirit of commissioning all across this sanctuary. My God, the oppression, the rejection, the fear, the discouragement that we have felt and that we have experienced, it is about to lift and there's about to be a heavy burden. There's about to be a heavy, heavy weight that's placed on us, but it's going to be 
unbearable because God, we are going to not be satisfied. We are not going to quench what it is. We're going to reach out to our neighbor. We're going to reach out to our coworker. We're going to reach out to our family member. My God, let it baptize every man, every woman, and every child in this place in the name of Jesus. Receive ye the spirit of the great commission. Hallelujah. Let it baptize every child as they go back to school. Let it baptize every husband. Let it baptize every wife, every man, and every woman right now. Go ahead and lift your voice and receive it. God has called us to go. Would you take both of your hands and would you put them over your chest right now? That angel is moving from person to person. He's touching you in your shoulder right now. You're starting to feel something inside of you want to break. Go ahead, let those tears fall. Go ahead, let your voice out right now. Go ahead. That's a burden. That's a burden, folks. You can't teach that. You can't preach that. You can't do anything else other than receive it and let God allow it to work in your life. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, God, the burden for the harvest that you've called us to do in this last and this final hour. Oh, Jesus. Oh, and I thank you for the blessed assurance that you're going to make every provision. You're going to meet every need, Lord Jesus, before they even get there. It's already going to be there waiting for them. Mm. There have been, I just saw basically like big cargo planes. They're, they're, they're flying overhead. And what they're doing, they're about to drop every ounce of provision and every ounce of, of, of accessory that you are going to need when you get to that place. But don't ever forget, man of God, woman of God, don't you ever forget that God has asked us to go. God has asked us to go. We have to go to where that's being dropped. You're going to open up that container when you get there. It's going to have everything that you're going to need spiritually. Don't worry about what you're supposed to say. Don't worry about what you're supposed to do. And I want to prophesy over somebody in this room. There's one person in this room. I don't know who it is. But God is about to increase your circle of influence. And he's about to put you in front of people that you never dreamed possible that you would ever, ever, ever be in front of. Don't despise that. Accept it. And realize and understand that God was the one that placed you there. And if God placed you there, God will be able to meet every need that you have while you are there. But we lift our hands right now. Jesus, we thank you today. Oh, my God, in your name right now. We love you, Lord, and we praise you, Jesus. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. In the name of the Lord, I pray, Jesus. In the name of the Lord, I pray, Jesus. In the name of the Lord, I pray, Jesus. In the name of the Lord, I pray, Jesus. Mm. Brother and Sister Allen, the angel of healing just came over your entire family right now. Could we gather around this precious family over here? Sister Allen is expecting another child. Shayrani and Potara have, um, there's been some, you know, things they've had. There's asthma, there's some allergies and things like that. The angel of healing, mm. it's over this entire family right now. And it's upon Noah and Raya as well up in Allen County in Fort Wayne. It's upon them right now. Could we get we, we love these people very, very, very much. And God has his hand upon them. God is going to perform something in these precious babies right now. And life begins at conception. So in the in the in the child inside of Sister Allen right now, that is a soul. That is a living, breathing, and a moving body. God is going to touch it right now. Every single physical ailment, I command it to go by the power of the word of God and the authority of the name of Jesus. Asthma, allergies, I command you to be lifted right now. Let the angel of healing, let the angel of miracle power begin to operate and begin to work right now. Oh my God, you're 
performing what Sister Haynes said just a moment ago. You're changing molecules. You're rearranging uh, uh, circulatory systems. You're rearranging breathing systems. Right now in your name, Lord Jesus. Oh, we praise you for it, Lord. We worship you for it, Jesus. Oh, we worship you, Lord, and we thank you, Savior. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. We thank you for our brothers and our sisters right now, God. And over these precious babies right now, God, we pray you would touch them. In your name we pray, God. Oh, yala bashataya. Yala lobo, yala bashataya, lobo kataya. Oh, thank you that the angel of healing is ministering right now. We thank you for it, Lord Jesus. We thank you for it, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. In your name we pray, Lord. In your name we pray, Lord. In your name we pray, Lord. I wonder right now, uh, brother to brother, sister to sister, unless it's you know husband and wife or something like that, could you find somebody to connect with? And I don't want anybody left um, alone. Please, no, nobody. I said it, uh, said it the other week, you know, and, and you, are, you are so responsive to that. We are so blessed in this church. Nobody, nobody prays alone. Nobody comes to the altar alone. All right, we we are a family, but I want you I want you to find somebody to connect with. You can you can be seated where you're at. <clears throat> if you if, if you want to stand, that's that's totally fine. Whatever whatever your preference is. But um, we prayed. Brother Christian called it out during the focus prayer time uh, for unity, All right? Um, harmony, accord, you know the the togetherness that that we have, and there was ever a time for us to be bound together. It's right now. Amen. And, and, and Brother Christian, he called it out in this, you know, in this world that there's so much just, every, everything's just, man, it's just so disfigured and everything like that. What is it that the world needs to see? It needs to see Jesus. Jesus' words to his followers were this. By this will men know that you're my disciples. That you had division. That's a wrong answer. That's a wrong answer. That you love one another. Everybody say love. love. That person that you're connected with right now, would you tell them that you love them? Some of you married folk out there, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to talk to y'all. Just joking. No. But we love one another. We love one another. And folks, I, I can't, we, we talked about it um, a week ago, Wednesday night, when I shared what I shared with the congregation, last Sunday, Sister Hodge over here talking about, um, actually, after I'm sorry, it was after the service Wednesday night a couple of weeks ago. She came up to me and she said, I don't know. She said, uh, the Lord, Lord spoke to me about something and this, this phrase just getting back to the basics and just realizing and understanding. We don't, we don't have to concoct some new type of formula. <laughs> and as a, as a pastor, if any pastor is honest with you, they struggle with that. I want to find a, a slant or I want to find this way or something to talk about a message that has saved people for thousands of years. All we have to do is present. And, and what, is, what is God? The Bible says that God is love. He's love. He's love. And I'm telling you something, folks. With all of the, the craziness going on in this world, when people look at the church and they see love, and they see the willingness to be able to share that love with somebody else. Folks, that's what makes people look at what's in this room and say, I'd love to have some of that. I'd love to have some of that. Is, any, I don't know, maybe there's a couple witnesses in here. Any of y'all that have ever partaken of drugs and alcohol, does that, does that help any? That was pretty emphatic. No, that, was, that wasn't, well, you know, there was, no, it doesn't. And everything that they, that they look for out there, will it ever lead to anything that's satisfying and fulfilling? No. But you know what can help all of that? Love. And only the love that God can give to us. And that has to be spread throughout this entire congregation. 
All right. We shouldn't we shouldn't be, you know, talking about negative stuff. We shouldn't be talking about negative reports. And if that means cutting off your news feed, cutting off your social media feed, do it. You won't be sorry. I assure you of that. I could I could go out right now into this community and ask 10 different people what they thought about one subject and you'd get 10 different answers. <laughs> There's only one thing that's absolute truth. And that's this book right here. Only one thing. And so reach out right now. I want you to connect with that person. And I want you to pray that God would give you a bond with them. And then, of course, as you pray for that, it's going to spread throughout this entire congregation. God, I pray for my brother and my sister. Lord Jesus, let us feel, let us know, and let us understand. Oh, my God. Oh, let our spirit, Lord Jesus, bear witness one of another. I pray, God, that we would speak life. With the fruit of our lips, Lord Jesus, let us speak life. Let us speak hope. Let us speak joy. Let us speak positivity in the name of the Lord Jesus. Oh, my God, in your name right now, Lord Jesus, let it happen. I pray, God, that that would be released by the power of your word and the authority that is in your name, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Let him feel it. Let him feel it, Lord Jesus. And God, I want other people to experience this. I want other people to know what this is like, Lord Jesus. That God, it's still repentance, water baptism in Jesus' name, and the infilling of the Holy Ghost, initially evidenced by speaking with other tongues. God, we thank you for that today, and we praise you for that today. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Maybe you could just let that person know in your own words, I want to do whatever I can to be an assist in helping you to make it to heaven. I can't, I can't live the life for you. You can't live the life for me. But if there's a, anything I can do along the way to help you, I want you to know that I'm here. I want you to know that I'm willing and I'm able to be able to do that. Who is my neighbor? Y'all need me to play Mr. Rogers again? <laughs> Jasper went, yeah! <laughs> but who's my friend? Wednesday night, those of you that, that weren't here, we, we talked about that with the Good Samaritan. And there was a priest and a Levite that showed us what not to do, and it's real easy if we're not careful to get clouded up with other directives and other areas of focus. And Jesus just very simply let us know that Samaritan stopped, and he didn't tell that guy that was beat and bloodied to get up and to come to him. The Bible says he went to where he was at, and he had compassion on him. He had compassion on him. And I, I thank you so much for showing that. This church is about that. If there's ever anybody that needs anything, I don't know of one person in here that if I was to come up to you right now and say, hey, could you do this, as long as it's within your reason, okay, that I don't know anybody in here that would say, no, I'm sorry, I'm just not going to do that. No, everybody here is very helpful, and everybody here has a desire to serve. And folks, the Bible says, according to the words of Jesus, the greatest in the kingdom is a servant of all. Mark 10 and 44 tells us that. Amen. Amen. Turn to somebody, you, maybe if they're not the person you're connected with, if they're in your area, and let them know that they matter. Amen. Jason, you matter. You have tremendous value and worth to me. Don't you ever forget that. Sister Georgia, you matter. It's good to see you in church today. Amen. Amen. Shelly and Rodney, y'all matter. Rick Sloan, you matter. You matter. I'm glad that you're here today. Amen. Christy? You matter, and God performed a miracle in your life, and I'm thankful for that. Amen? An empty wheelchair. An empty wheelchair, folks. Anybody still rejoicing over what God did last week? Amen, 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 amen. Thank you, Jesus. Stand to your feet. Wow.
And I want to thank um, just people uh, just jumping in and, and helping. And I wanted to uh, send a very, very special thank you to Sister Melanie Haynes and Sister Nikita Breeden. Um, I have um, wanted for a long time to get some pictures and things like that up in my office. And yesterday, um, they took their time um, to come and to do that in my office. And so if you ever get a chance to pop your head in the door, it looks really, really, really nice. Thank you. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. I'm not, um, I'm not one to, you know, um, ask for a lot of help or stuff like that, but I do understand there's areas that I just, I don't do well in, and interior decoration is not one of them. But um, it's, uh, <laughs> thank you, Brother Paul Bush, I appreciate that. How about all the men say amen? All right, yeah, that's, that, there's some things that we should not do, all right? Oh, but I um, appreciate that very, very much. And um, Friday night, uh, to all of you that, um, or to, uh, actually from Thursday, everybody that, that shared a birthday greeting for Gibson or whatever, thank you. Thank you for loving my family. Thank you for loving my wife, and thank you for loving our two, our two kids. Um, I don't say it publicly enough, but um, I absolutely am Holy Ghost proud of Paul Edward Gibson Faulkner and Natalia Robin Faulkner. So very, very much for all that they do, all they put up with. I appreciate it very, very, very much. And so thank you for all of your, your kindness towards that. Amen. It feels so good in here today. My goodness, it feels so good in here today. And uh, I thank you for being responsive to the Word of God. And folks, we're fixing to see some tremendous, tremendous things, even greater than what we saw today. Okay? And those of you, I don't know if those of you that did not hear, but Brother Hodge had sciatic uh, pain, pretty severe pain in his leg the last four days. He's over here just a moment ago. We were praying it lifted off of him. God performed a miracle for him, and we're thankful for that. Sister Forbush, that the generation is gone. Yeah, man, we're going to get the report back that God performed a miracle today. Amen. The bishop, God touched him as well. Amen. Sister Ann, God touched you. Sister Lana, God touched you as well. We believe that. Believe that today. And Sister Conkle, God did it. You're going to see response. You're going to be response. You're going to see response from that. Amen, amen. And listen, those of you, when you're, you're out and about, you're at work, you're at different places, um, when you spend time in prayer and ask for God to put you and position you where you need to be, don't ever, ever be afraid. I know this is going to blow some of y'all away. Don't ever be afraid to do today what you did today in a gas station or a grocery store or a restaurant. Don't ever, ever, ever be afraid to do that. Amen. Hey, if it doesn't work, if you feel like it, it was you know, whatever, you can blame God for it. Because I don't know about you, at the end of the day, we're all going to stand before him, and our life will be judged based on obedience to what he said. Amen. Amen. But we're so thankful that everybody's here. Would you lift your voice and lift your hands and pray with me right now? Jesus, we thank you today for your goodness. We thank you for your kindness. We know that you're here in a mighty way, in a powerful way. We ask you, Lord Jesus, in your name, that you would move and you would minister let what we have felt today, God, go with us. Take us, God, to the level that you would intend for us to go to. We bless you for that today, and we thank you for that, Lord Jesus. We know you can do it, and you will do it. Help us, Lord Jesus. In your mighty and holy name we pray. And everybody said in Jesus' name, amen. The Lord bless you. Well, praise the Lord. Um, I'm sorry, I should say, if you're out of here, you don't get it. <laughs> Okay, some of y'all gave you stuff to him on Friday night, and, you know, that was fine. But this is what was brought in for you today for your birthday. Because I hate to admit it, but I sort of like you just a little bit. Love you, Gibson. Thank you, guys. All right. Gibson, it's the dad tax. 
Don't act like you parents ain't ever done that. Any of your kids ever got candy? Come on. That's right. Brother Kurt knows what's going on. Grab it up there. Amen. Um, hey, continue to remember Brother Youngblood. Listen, God's up to something. He texted me Friday afternoon. He said, you're never going to believe this. I'm like, try me. He said, I'm able to put a little bit of weight on my foot. And the doctors told him that shouldn't happen. So specifically when we pray, continue to pray for blood flow. There has to be blood flow down to that area. And we want all that infection to be gone. Because the doctors are talking right now. They're saying, they're saying all kinds of negative things. And when I went over to pray with him on Wednesday, he told me, he said, it's, it's hard to deal with all this negativity. And so we're going to pray for positivity over by the young blood. All right? So continue to pray for him. God's doing something. He's not going to lose his foot. I wrote it down, and again, I, went, I was back in his bedroom with him. I wrote it down next to his nightstand, Psalm 121 and 3. It might mean something a little different than that in other places, but for here, he said, I will not suffer thy foot to be moved. And so God is going to keep his foot. God is going to keep his foot. So continue to remember, Brother Youngblood, all the other needs we prayed for. Amen. This week, going to be a wonderful time here. Again, Monday and Tuesday, 7 o'clock prayer. Wednesday night, our Bible study. Amen. August the 30th will be our Friends and Family Day. 11.30 a.m., Master's Legacy Quartet will be in concert here at Point of Grace. It's going to be a wonderful time. It's going to be casual. Tell your friends to come. Tell them there's not going to be any preaching. Like... Like this, they'll be preaching through song, but uh, come and invite all your friends. Let them know that uh, it's going to be a wonderful, wonderful time here. Amen. Jane Anderson, I'm so, I was looking earlier. I'm so glad that she's here. We love her. God bless her. Give her a great big hand. Amen. 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 God's doing great things. Continue to remember all of our, our students. Okay. Uh, pray that God keeps his hand upon him as, as we prayed for them earlier. Like I said, with all this uh, virus and everything going on, we want God to protect our kids. Amen. And God to keep his hand upon them. God bless you. Don't let anybody leave this place without you letting them know they love and they matter. In Jesus' name. God bless you. Thank you so much for coming to church today. In Jesus' name. Hold on. Brother Kirk wants to say something. I have some vegetables, so I'm going to divide them up. They're bagged up, so I'm going to put them up there, and however far it goes, it goes. So no fighting, no nothing. No, <laughs> no throwing at one another. That's right. And thank you, Brother Kirk, for his farming skills and his Care Bear mask. Amen. <laughs> God bless you. We love you. Everybody be kind one to another in Jesus' Jesus name.